we find ourselves at a crossroads, not just in America, but across the world. We find ourselves at a crossroads politically and spiritually. The West feels exhausted. It feels exhausted not only by liberalism, but by relativism, by identity politics, by confusion about gender, what is a man, what is a woman, about the unborn and whether or not we should value them, about the church and whether or not she should teach us and what does she have to teach us. All of this is, I think, a, a sign of the exhaustion of liberalism itself, which has, I think, brought in enormous disorder. The Pope sometimes talked about liberalism as a super heresy, as a heresy which contained many other heresies and which was going to cause great disorder, and they were right. We find ourselves, I think, at the end of liberalism. And in that gap, I think the church has a wonderful opportunity and Catholics in particular have a wonderful opportunity to return to the sources, to return to the great sources of the church's thinking about political order. Now is the time, I think, for Catholics to take seriously, not a rapprochement with liberalism, but take seriously the truth about order. What makes for right order in our families and in our political communities and in our church? This has been an essential tradition that has been built up over 2,000 years of Christian wisdom that's available to us. Why wouldn't we take this opportunity to think about how Catholics can be salt and light in the world, not just with a political program, but with political wisdom that is durable, that draws from Greek philosophy, that draws from Roman law, and that draws the healing, medicinal, and elevating graces from the high altar of the church into the public square. That's what we need to renew Western civilization, and that's why you should take this course.